here so long? It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. <laughs> kind of headless. The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're until safe down dawn. Oh, hey. yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Uh -oh, right. But where is right. Josh? That fucking thing motherfucker got Josh. dragged off into the mines. Oh shit, out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mines. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. Shit was scary. You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got yeah, there. I th yeah, I was going to say that. I saw this when I was down up. there. That's from where there, it lives. Back to the lodge. Um, um, what is, huh? What is that? Oh, they saw the bite. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. nothing, no, it just no, it no, bit no, me no. and... Bit you? What bit you? The, well, the Wendigo. what? It wasn't the stranger, it wasn't Josh. Really, it's not a big deal, okay? Ross is elimination. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily. If the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Oh, is that how it works? Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one. And then I you're think he said on only on. cannibalism. Oh my, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. All right, let's Guys, vote. What are you doing? I think Mike, Ash, and Chris are for Emily out. And me too. I am too. letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Oh shit! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It's safe. not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. See, it probably isn't, but I'm not gonna fuck around and fight out. So... <laughs>
Okay. Okay. God. It's over. It's over. Uh, save the day. You guys are safe. Cue the victory theme. You guys are safe. It's a safe room, guys. Yes, it's a safe room. Don't worry. I had to do it. Only I one killer in there. Okay. I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh... I'll come back here. You guys are safe. It's over. It's over. It was just a prank, Emily. Calm down. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, you okay? He was right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it the Wendigo? Yeah. And I was definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. What did it look like? Like, 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 a, like a person, only... But just d distorted somehow. All right. Pretty good drawing action. I'm gonna lie. This old guy. Only a few men have dared to hunt. This guy's a little OCD. Please don't interrupt me while I'm reading. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. You. No, up, look up. Cannibalism. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess, possess them. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. I have seen this happen many years ago. Craving for flesh that cannot be sa sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. And creature, the creature grows and the skin is pulled out across... The bones. What is that? Tot? Tad? Next page. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains. The Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature. There's a lot of history to this. Born in ice, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and should hunt elsewhere. Okay, good thing I never fucking hurt an animal up here. Aside from Emily. <laughs> In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo says sees movement. because moving. the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. They can mimic their prey. I hey, spoiler alert, I didn't read that yet. They can mimic their prey. Okay, the Wendigo's eyes change and more dim movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly, perfectly mimic. I think perfectly is also a key word in there. Uh, mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined? Read the other page. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin and makes them weak. 
but try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, but not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. Ah! The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Well. Looks like a meaningless death then. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh no. no. What? What is it? What does it say? Oh, do we tell the truth? Yes, tell them the truth. It says that... Uh, the bites... It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see that. I got a trophy for that though. You couldn't have known. Wait, are you just gonna run after Mike now? Oh Joshua. You should have listened to Therapist me. man, I missed you. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. Or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self centered fear. While a brief threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. That's You're sad. all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Because they hurt me, I hurt no one. Uh, I hurt no one is a lie and a half. Okay, you know, not a half, just a lie. Uh, it's justified they hurt well, they me. They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. You did not. But you see, the same can be said for his now. It just did. He didn't mean to, they were sorry, but it please, did. Until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. So, I don't know. Oh, are we gonna be apologetic or are we like, no, oh, it was just a game? Mm. Let's just be apologetic. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something worse than death itself. Two hours until dawn. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> wow, we're going back to the sanatorium.
Ah, I don't have the gun though. Oh no, you dropped it back in the safe room. Why would you have gone here without at least- I mean the gun doesn't do anything against the Wendigos, supposedly. Because yeah, apparently you just need a minimum of a shotgun. But, I mean, I don't know what to say. Holy shit. Uh, what happened here? Doggo! Huh. Doggo, where are you? Treasure chest is gone. His cigar is still here. I mean, he's dead now. Can I have it now? He's still gonna put it back. Mike, treat yourself. Actually, no. Smoking bad. Do not. What's up here? Was this open before? Did it? Wait, no. This was closed. This was locked. What the fuck happened here? Is that an earthquake? Why did this collapse? It's an earthquake. Explosion? I don't know what the fuck did I miss? What we have here? Oh, gun! And a torch, I guess. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Yeah, we really do, huh? Go on, witch hunt these motherfuckers. Take a few more, I think you'll need more. Ah, good enough. This thing looks nice. I'd take more bullets though if I were you. Then again, I don't think this game uh, is gonna make me run out. Make me have me run out. So choice of words impeccable. Okay, what the hell is that? Holy hell. Adam White, Charles Miller, Evelyn Daniels. And the ones at the back are scraped off. I all died nineteen fifty two. Same day. Interesting. Wait, so this Billy guy, is he mentioned? Oh no, I don't see a Billy or a William or whatever the hell Billy is short for. Billiard table. Ah, goodbye my eardrums. Mike is a certified badass. <gasps> Wolfie! Hey, big guy. I don't need a flashback, I know who this is. Happy to see me again, huh? Hey. Ah, who's a good boy? I hope I'd run into you again. Yeah, boy. Alright. Good boy. Alright, pal. Come with me. Alright. Here's the plan. Alright, Doggo, let's go I hunt some. I see a map of this place. Oh, so, fucking blind, blind. There should oh, be a way to Where the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. 
Squeeze through then, I guess. Would be a shame if a Wendigo came and attacked uh -huh. now that I'm stuck. Ah, see? see Nothing that? happened. I do got moves. Wolfie. Hey, Wolfie. That's his name from now on. Probably still call him Doggo though. Oh no! No! Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? Oh, that is sad. No. Doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Were they inmates though? What went on here? That is this out. Is we are starving and freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. Oh, I have to fuck. This one doesn't have the click of a button. Oh, it's a Charlie Chaplin movie. It's missing the music though. It's climbing. I think. That, well, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, whatever that is, transformed into a Wendigo. Whatever that was. What the fuck is going on around here? Nah. Nah. We still have the option to turn around and be happy. Oh no! There's just an open door there. I don't like this. Uh, why do I have to go out here? Huh? What? I'm not gonna fucking shoot. Probably just a rat or something. Fucking rat! Ah, see, I was right. Oh, we saw the movie. Uh, take a shortcut. Oh no, Wolfie! Oh, he made it. Oh, thank God. How the hell, though? Where the fuck you come from? Give the doggo head pads, yes. Doggo likey. Oh my God. Motherfucker found a detour. No, I think that's a different one, actually. This Wendigo looks like the old man from fucking Squid Games.
I'm actually scared for Mike here. There's a lot of quick time events probably coming up. Because I think there's like two Wendigos. Oh, I'm just gonna have to hit every quick time event that shows up. Damn it. What the? For the sake of Mike and Bobo. No, I should maybe save my bullets. Oh, oh there's a lot. One at a time, boys. Yeah, one Enough for me for all ya! Did I miss that? Fuck. Uh, I just said save my bullets and I do that again. Because I don't know if... That's dangerous to close though. Okay, let's go, Dobo. Oh shit. Get off there. Back in the door. Yeah, should buy us some time. Hey, buddy. Dogo! Come on down. Sorry. Right. Come with me, Dogo. No. Hey, I'll catch you in the Dogo. flip side, huh? Okay, guess not. Shit. May I 